Hey YouTube, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So I have a question for you today. Are you one of the many people that jump from one relationship to the next? If you are, this is for you today. Stay tuned. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> so first of all, let me just say, if this is your very first time to I Love Me, 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 and you wanna hear more videos like this, make sure that you hit the red subscribe button down below. Now, I just asked, are you one of the people that jump from one relationship to the next? And I find this to be the case with so many people, not just women. Women may mostly, but people in general. So here are a few reasons why you should not be doing that. The very first one is because you need time to heal from the last one. See, the last one didn't just break up just because. Most people do not walk away on friendly terms. Now, some people do. This is why I said most. Most people don't. Most people are not mature enough to walk away under friendly terms. So there was a reason why your relationship broke up. And most of the time, it was nasty. Might even had a little bit of evil in there as to why your relationship broke up. So you need time to heal from that last relationship before you go walking around, hugging up lovey-dovey with somebody else. The second reason is because that baggage that you had from old girl or old boy, you're going to bring that into the next relationship. Now, this might not be a conscious thing that you are doing. However, you are subconsciously bringing baggage into your relationship. You don't believe me? Let's give you a few examples. Last, well, I'll use guys, okay? Let's go with guys. Last guy that you dated, of course, let's go with he cheated. Ah. So now, the new boo, anytime you see him talking to a chick, he automatically cheating. Now you got to answer questions. Not just like, who was that? It's like, you going on and on and on and on and on. Why he can't even talk to no more women. Period. All right? Or, <laughs> this guy likes to go to the casino every once in a while. But old boo used to just gamble all they dang old money away. Not your thing. So now every time he goes to the casino, you want to check his receipts. <laughs> you want to you want to know how long he's been there. You texted him all night. It's just too much. Again, baggage from the last person. Which brings me to point number three. You need time to reflect on the last relationship as to why it didn't work out. Could you have stopped nagging? Could you have stopped lying? Big one. Even little white lies. They usually come around to something big because this is just a side note and a little bit of extra information for you. Once you start telling a lie, you have to continuously, continuous, and continuous, and continuous, and continue on with that lie. And then most of the time you end up messing up because, because it wasn't the truth. You can't remember what that lie was. And the person that you told it to, they're like, wait a minute, that's not what you said last time? And then you got to lie again. Well, what I was saying was, or how I meant it was, it's, it's, it's so much. It's so much. Anyway, so, could have stopped lying. Could have stopped nagging. You could have came home on time. You could have stopped clubbing with your boys. You could have stopped a whole bunch. It's a plethora of things. So you need time to reflect on why your past relationship did not work out. Now you're single again and possibly trying to enter into a new one. The next thing actually is that you are no longer, especially if this is a repetitive thing. It's not like once or twice. This is something that you do over and over and over again. I mean, jumping in and out of relationships. You are no longer seeing the person for the face value of the opposite sex any longer. It's like each time it's decreasing, it's decreasing, it's decreasing, it's decreasing because you didn't give yourself time to reflect nor to yourself time to heal. So the face value of the new person or everybody, um, like for instance, the, the woman is liking a man. So every man that you meet, see, hang out with, now you're starting to date, they face value is going down. Ah, uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Probably ain't gonna work out anyway. He probably gonna cheat. He probably gonna be gambling too much. He 
probably gonna be drinking too much. Whatever it is, again, that baggage, whatever it is, the face value of that uh, man or woman, now that you're about to see or about to date, is actually gone down. Another reason is that your emotional and physical and even possibly your spiritual is just not in order. It's not in order. It's no longer in order. And you are trying to figure out why you cry all the time or why you are no longer believe your faith is not where it needs to be or what have you. The number one reason why you should not be jumping in and out of relationships is because your trust is no longer 100%. It's just not. You can think that it is, and then soon as there becomes an issue, even if it's something minor, everything is going to annoy the daylights out of you about this new person. Because your trust is no longer there. And it really doesn't have anything to do with this new person, per se. It's really about all that old stuff that you carried into this new relationship. And it's because you didn't give yourself time enough to reflect on what happened took the baggage in there. You definitely didn't give yourself time to heal. Again, you're not seeing the person at face value. Your emotional, spiritual, and even physical aspects are out of, out of line. And all of that is wrapped around. Number one, trust. If you do not have trust, you do not have anything. Think about it. I'll see you guys soon. Deuces.